to answer to the challenges posed by the uh, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, um, the Italian uh, MS Foundation has uh, launched an, initi an initiative that has been uh, uh, accepted, uh, uh, which has seen involved uh, the Italian MS Registry, um, the Italian Neuroimmunological Association, and uh, the MS Study Group from the Italian Neurological Society. Um, this is, uh, for the Italian uh, experience, at least the first time that uh, uh, different uh, uh, academic entities cooperate uh, uh, on uh, um, research programs and research uh, protocols. And uh, this alliance has also called uh, uh, for action all the stakeholders uh, which means that also the industry has been uh, asked uh, to participate, uh, to contribute. So far, uh, this alliance has produced data uh, concerning the uh, epidemiology, uh, the serology, um, and uh, studies on T-cell reactivity also are ongoing. Uh, supported by um, by this alliance and by funds that have been uh, 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 provided by the Italian MS Foundation. Uh, further, the Italian MS Foundation has launched a dedicated uh, call uh, for for projects, uh, which is currently ongoing. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there are very few initiatives like this that have seen all the stakeholders. Um, uh, from the patients, uh, to the physicians, to the researchers, to the uh, pharma industry involved to provide answers to uh, uh, such urgent uh, questions like uh, uh, how do patients with MS, persons with MS react to the pandemic and what is the interference of their treatments? Uh, so uh, we really consider this uh, uh, scientific, but also a political laboratory. And we hope to uh, uh, continue to collaborate uh, uh, also beyond, uh, beyond the pandemic. Uh, so far, we have uh, uh, very exciting data concerning T-cell uh, reactivity uh, in uh, people with MS that are treated uh, with uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, directed uh, against CD20. And uh, we uh, will show in the next uh, ECRIMS meeting uh, in mid-October that uh, we can find uh, levels of T cell reactivity uh, towards the virus, which are uh, as uh, uh, potent and as uh, frequent uh, than uh, in uh, uh, healthy controls uh, uh, that uh, uh, had uh, the same type uh, of uh, infection. And we think this is very useful information for clinicians, for the persons with MS, and also uh, provide a scientific basis uh, to uh, assume that uh, these persons are as protected from SARS-CoV-2 and its variants, as are all the other people that have undergone infection or vaccination.